In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative to receiving international payments in USD. And this is an alternative to PayPal, to Payoneer, and other payment services you use to receive money from international platforms. This is actually one of the biggest problems for those of us here in Nigeria, and that is exactly why I'm making this video today. Walk you guys through how you can set up an account with Skrill and verify the account and start using it to receive international payments from different platforms in the online space. Now, if you actually work online, then this is actually one of the videos you actually want to see because you are going to be getting the step-by-step -step guide on how to create an account with Skrill that works anywhere in the world. Now, just so you know, Skrill works with several markets, which include the online marketplaces, the gaming and gambling platforms. It works with your Forex and crypto exchanges. It works with your web hosting and domain registrars. It also works with several traveling and accommodation websites. Yes, and this basically cuts across different sectors of the online space where you most likely might be a marketer. With an affiliate marketer, you sell this digital product, you want to buy, you want to receive your payout from different survey platforms and all. I could actually go further and show you guys a couple of other websites that actually accept payouts from Skrill. And it's going to shock you because if you've been thinking of just PayPal and Payoneer, then you're absolutely wrong. This might actually be your simple solution to start receiving international payment. Now, you can see on my screen here from websites like GoDaddy to Shopify to WooCommerce to Magento to PrestaShop, Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer.com, 99design, Envato Market, ThemeForest, Udemy, Coursera, Skillshare, Grammarly, NordVPN, and a whole lot of other websites that use Skrill. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys this right now. Firstly, I actually want to get started with going over to the Skrill website. Use my link in the description to access Skrill, franklinmatter.com slash Skrill. And once you access this, you can easily do the sign-up process. The major beauty here is the fact that this is zero hassle for you to create your account with Skrill. You don't have to, you know, start thinking of the documentation to actually provide like Payona does or the limitations that PayPal also brings for you. With Skrill, you have the option of receiving international payments. They do not give you a US bank account just like Pioneer does, but then you have three major options here for transfer, whether it's you receiving Skrill payment from another Skrill user, or it's you receiving international money transfer, which you get to send money from your bank or card to another bank account abroad, or you can actually request money, just like you can do on PayPal, where you can easily request money and then screen more of like creates more of like an invoice or a payment link that that particular client can use to make payments to you. So this is going to most likely be very useful for you if you're a freelancer and you have people that actually need to pay you from different parts of the world. Skrill might actually be the go-to guy for you. And also for our crypto brothers, <laughs> those of you guys that actually deal with crypto, especially if you're looking at dollar arbitrage or crypto arbitrage businesses, then Skrill might also be one of those guys that would help you with that because they're very open and they've partnered with a lot of you know people in this very aspect. Now, all you want to do is to go ahead and use my link, franklyman.com slash Skrill. And once you use my link, it brings you over to the registration page. And you can actually click on register. And once you're registering right here, it's already telling you to fill in your details. You're going to be filling in your first name, your last name, your country, your currency. And then uh, you would also want to fill in your, your email address and then fill in your password. Okay, let me just go ahead and do that. And once you're done with that, you can actually check on the box here and click on register. Now, once you register, you need to verify your email address. And this is exactly where you get to see here to check this. Okay, so you can see here the email is here and I'm going to click on confirm email. And once I do that, it's going to take me over to the page where I have done the first verification for my Skrill account. Now, you can see here I have to sign in. And you can see here that you can do three major things with Skrill. One, you can pay online for anything. Two, you can buy and sell crypto. And three, you can send money. And once you actually have this, uh, let's just say we want to uh, buy, uh, send money. And this is really where we're going to go over with the second uh, verification process that will allow us to you know, complete our registration and then start using Skrill as a verified Skrill user. So you want to go ahead and impute all of these details here. I'm going to quickly add all of these details in now uh, so that we can have this in. Now, once you've been able to put in all of your details and you've completed your registration, then it is going to bring you over to this page where you have, you know, some level of access to your Skrill account. Okay. Now, um, on having some level of access to your Skrill account, you want to make a deposit. Skrill is going to ask you to make a deposit. Okay. And that deposit more of like, you know, shows that, yes, you are ready to start using Skrill. 
And once you've placed that deposit, they get to unlock some other features for you inside of that particular account that you have. All right. But then, guys, that's not all because right here, um, you can see even here we're making a deposit of just $5 using my card. I still need to verify my account on this particular space. Now, the goal for me here is to actually verify every necessary thing possible here on my Skrill account to make sure that, you know, um, I am able to use Skrill in and out without having any issues. Okay, and that is exactly what you want to do. So I'm going to continue with providing them the uh, proof of address. I'm going to choose the file. I think I have that down in my documents. I'm going to choose that file right now. And once this is fully uploaded, I will go ahead and, you know, I'll proceed to the next step. Okay. Now it's up here. I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to click on confirm. And uh, it says that's been submitted. And it's going to take a while for the verification to be complete. But then, guys, uh, you can see here that this is the dashboard here where you get to see all of, you know, the activities that you've actually done with Skrill. And here is where you get the option to, you know, uh, deposit some money into your Skrill account, right? So if you have a card, you want to make a deposit with your Skrill account, you can go ahead and put in your details here, add a card, and you can make a deposit into your Skrill. So this is exactly what will work if you want to make payments for something online. And, you know, uh, the payment method you want to use is not working. You can deposit the money on Skrill and use Skrill to make the payment in that particular, you know, situation. Again, you can go ahead and withdraw. And you can see for withdrawal, you can withdraw to your bank account for a fee of $5.99. Or you can withdraw to a credit card. So for your bank account, you can actually get to uh, do some international wire transfers to your domiciliary account in Nigeria. And you receive that money instead of your DOM account. Or you can just withdraw straight up to your card. This one takes shorter time, but then you get charged more. Or you can withdraw to Neteller if you have a Neteller account. Now, when you come to transfer, we have the option to transfer here. And you can see here, you can actually do a transfer from Skrill to Skrill. We can do a transfer here from Skrill to Skrill, where you get to send money to any other Skrill user. There are a lot of Skrill users all over the world, so you can easily find someone that also uses Skrill. Or you can do an international money transfer, where you get to send uh, from your bank or card to your bank account abroad. Okay, There are no transfer fees, and it is at a very good exchange rate. Or you can easily request money. So for example, you want to request money from somebody. I want to request like $15 right now. And you can see here, I can create a link. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this particular link right now and send it to my employer. Let me open it in incognito so that I can show you guys what this link is going to bring up. So once I send that particular link to my employer to pay me $15, you would basically see here uh, that this person is just going to see $15 that he has to pay me. You click on continue payment and uh, sometimes he has to register. And if he has a Skrill account, he can easily just log in and process the payment ASAP to you via the Skrill link. Now, I'm going over here. Uh, we can also see a series of exchanges. This is the exchange from one currency to another. But when we go over to this particular option here for crypto, you can see you can actually get to do your crypto investments right from this particular space. Now, I have a particular program that's coming up. I have been able to do about 70% of this particular program. and even have students that are currently waiting for me to actually round up with it at this moment. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually get started with crypto arbitrage, how you can make money with the difference in currency from dollar to crypto, from crypto to dollar, and otherwise. This way, you're going to be able to be profitable in the market and make a lot of money from this particular space. Let me know if you're interested in this in the comment section below. And as well, there is going to be a link to one of my communities, my business communities on WhatsApp. You can click the link you see in the description and get access to these business communities. One of the beautiful things here is the fact that if you're subscribed to this channel, you're going to be getting updates to several videos I create around making money in the online space and scaling your income working from home. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and smash on the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my videos. All right, so you can see here, it says here, yeah, crypto investment, let me say trade crypto in your pocket. This is actually when you get the Skrill app and you're able to, you know, take up on several actions here. Okay, so you can also come over here to transactions and you can see all of the transaction in this. You can go back to the settings and you can get to explore several settings you have here. And this is the help center. And even on the help center, here, you can see here, uh, we have the account settings payment, crypto payment, uh, international money transfer, the remittance. And you can see card. Okay, this is actually one of my new accounts. And I'm just walking you guys through this particular process right now. So you can see we can explore different screen level. Currently, I'm a screener. 
on this account and you can actually get to the part where you are a through scriller or even a vip scriller okay so this is only when you've been able to earn over fifteen thousand euros but through scriller here you just need to complete a couple of settings here add money to your account verify your account and you're good to go okay so this is it guys uh, this is exactly how you can actually get started with Skrill and get to use Skrill like I said it is an alternative to Payoneer it's an alternative to PayPal so if you're struggling with your Payoneer account or your PayPal account then Skrill might be an option for you to actually get started with okay so click the link in the description to get started with Skrill and do not forget to drop your comments below around your concerns about this particular method I shared here and you can also join my business community on WhatsApp the link is in the description you're going to get access to work with me on a personal level and you know get me to guide you on a couple of stuff all for free okay so this is it guys this will actually get you started with your screen account right now go ahead and make wonders with this thank you so much guys for watching this video and i would see you in my next video peace